Hi guys, Alpha Star DX here. And if you can't tell by the game that is up right now, this is going to be a really uh, off the chain stream. Not only in the fact that it's late night and it's a really weird game anyway, but I'm also going to be stuffing my face throughout the course of it. So be forewarned. <clears throat> Anyway, this is Panic for the Sega CD. Hi, Solar. Uh, Chibi could not be with us tonight, so I am gunning it alone. And where we last left off, we wound up in this room with a uh, toilet in a really interesting outlined rectangular prism we've got here. <sighs> So, what is this? Okay, that's kind of cool. So, we have a toilet that regurgitates spiral galaxies. I kind of like that, actually. Oh no, this blackout. Take a rose break when you need relief. Or was that a relief break when you need roses? Never mind. A rose break when you need relief? A relief break when you need roses? What the hell? What uh what did you find out, Solar? Touch the candle. Oh, so that's where the swim team practices. That's, uh, that's too bad, Solar. Okay, next up is... I should probably have this up, too. Okay, 6C. So I need to go... I need to get a 1-up. Oh... I just got swallowed by a toilet. Another camera? We've seen something like this before. I mean, in all honesty, most science is kind of based on math. This just isn't science, but you know. Great, so we've got cameras that can summon giant hands from other directions. <clears throat> Cheese! Oh! Aye! We're still getting head. Yeah, that uh, leads me back to a way I heard that kind of thing described. I'm not going to say again. <laughs> Look back to the first episode and check out the alarm room if you really want to know. I mean, that's how they start, right? Now, when did technology develop livers and gallbladders? Oh, it's happy to see you. How cute. Mm. 
Revenge! Revenge! <laughs> okay, 6B. That is this one right here. Cool, space airlock. And you know, I actually believe that most um, EVA suits have button panels like this. Whoops, somebody forgot to flip the air valve. Whoops, somebody forgot to flip the air valve. Keep the faith, and you won't <laughs> need the suit. Are, are you insinuating that if we have faith, we won't need a suit when we're free flying in outer space? Because that seems like a great way to die. I mean, I'd keep it as a pet, personally. What do you want? Creatures need love too. Okay, 6A. Uh, okay. I mean, we fought worse. We had that we had that green slime alien from way back in the beginning. I know. Let's moon it. Maybe we'll scare it off. Oh. Maybe that's not the way to do it. Maybe send a ghost on it. Note to self, human children are as fragile as paint. Well, nothing happened when we were directly exposed to the blob. That's a decent sign. chip off the old block or should I say chopping block huh? I'm not entirely sure I know what you're getting at nor which face you were talking out of Okay, that seems like overkill right there. We get the idea. You can squish us with one fold. Do you have to do it a second time? All right, uh, 6H. This, I get the feeling, could get real dangerous real quick. Best kind of room. Let's send the nukes. By the way, kid, I'm pretty sure you should be wearing some kind of suit to protect you from the spores and other debris that's going to fly out from this. <clears throat> Yeah, if the asbestos don't do it, I promise you everything else will. Hmm? 
What? What kind of asshole? I, I mean, perhaps an effective weapon in certain circles, maybe? That's what it looks like when we set off a booby trap. I'm not going to let that stand, but... Figured I'd show that off. I will, I will direct everybody to Franco Maddox, uh, all traps run for that. And, ah, oh shit. I forgot to make the saves I needed to make. Oh, well. Hang on a sec, guys. I screwed up. I should have saved before I did what I did. Hold on to your hat racks. We're going to do this one more time. Get a uh, get a drink now if you so need it. Because now would be a good time for me to get a quick slice. It's not the kind of wood I wanted to get. By the way, for anybody unsure, that's not how mushroom clouds actually work. Okay, now back to where we were doing. That's awesome. <clears throat> Provided I don't have to clean up the mess, I would really love one of those. Six G. Well, that's one hell of a situation to be thrown into. Well, only one thing to do. We gotta save him. <sighs> Takes guts to do what you're doing, kid. Takes a lot of guts. Oh. 
It takes a lot of guts to do what you're doing, kid. So, I'm kind of curious how all of these megaton beings are fitting in this bag. Well, on the upside, we've made a liar out of Satan. We do have a parachute. Not a very good parachute, but it's a parachute. Fifty tons. Yeah, this boy's gonna die. I've lost count of how much weight is in that bag. I, I he he's lucky to be alive. That's all I can say. Yeah, bigger blades and it might just work. <sighs> well, only one trick left. Teleportation to 6F. that let me guess it's another button panel right yeah and naturally we can't read it <sighs> I think we've blown this a little bit out of proportion don't you think It is, isn't it? Everyone's got their problems. Cleopatra wasn't the only queen of the Nile. I saw that coming from ten miles away. Hmm. I'm afraid now if that if we hit one more whirlwind it may blow the earth right out of its orbit. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, it seems like that's how the aliens are throwing us off of their trail. But no, they really exist and they really do stomp down. Okay. Oh. I think you may just want to get out from under that ship. Hmm? 
So here's a fairly pleasant ride. Now, uh, do you know how to drive this thing is the real question. Well, that's kind of neat, except for the fact that it can throw you clear into the ocean. Okay, Solar. Enjoy. Get comfortable and all that good stuff. Yeah, that should have a dome on it just for safety's sake. kind of the oil that uh, th never mind <laughs> that's a fascinating speed boost mechanism Kid, jump out. Get out of the... Well, somebody's life's over. Alright, moving on down. 70. Alright. In for some Little League training, are we? Alright, kiddo. Batter up. Here's the pitch. Whoa! You haven't lived until you've taken a Louisville slugger to the head. Let me tell you from personal experience. Hey, it's that facsimile machine from the beginning of the game. Take a swing at one of them. Actually, no, that'll probably just snap your bat in two. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that's how that... how that happened. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, a machine that hands you the ball is kind of useless. Oh, I see. So we've uh, finally unlocked the prison, have we? Or is that, or is that just what dugouts are made of these days? I don't even know. Whoa! Sad part is, most of those were strikes. For a normal size player, anyway. For a child like this, they're way too high. Hey, 
What do you mean, fan? You need an eye exam, ump? There's no better bat in the majors! At least this is a fairly appropriately placed uh, cameo joke. All right, this is where things are actually going to start to get a little bit complex because the way the way the map for this floor ended up lining out, I have to make a loop in order to in order to get to certain places and not miss them. So I'm going to have to do a quick modification here. Okay. So 7D. Hey, it's that spider umbrella. I was wondering where he got to. It looks like he sprouted a brand new and more complex control panel. So, what does he do? Huh. Guess he can't see without his extensions. That's all we need is spiders that can fly under semi-mechanical power. Hey, spiders have feelings too, you know. It seems like the organic life has gone nuts, too. That's neat. We could make sound with a setting like that. Grant me my fucking wishes! First of all, I wish for... made character caricatures by the little spider. Oh, and he can procreate. The species lives on. Hooray. All right. Modify for 7C instructions. Oh look, we found a, uh, we found an identical neighborhood. Kind of like the one Squidward moved into for all of one episode. Uh, that is a trap. 
Up to now, button one has always been a gag, but not this time. Oh, whoops. Well, the bikers certainly won't be happy, will they? I guess that's one way to put on a homemade circus. Uh, Mission Control, this is Houston. Which one, the Jack in the Box? Boy heads. Sure enough, the button that looks most like one produces them. What about this other one that looks kind of like that? Start your engines, boys. Oh, the, uh, the Squidville. Yeah, okay. Okay. Modify for 7B. Okay, ready to go. Um, boy, why do you have a flask in your pocket? I, you know, I'm not even sure I want to know. Well... Let's take a drink, because this can't go wrong in any way, right? <laughs> Funny, I always thought you needed the moon to do that. Well, bottoms up. So all you have to do is burp to release the effects of this potion. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Are you serious? And... Oh my god. Did uh we just see that? Um first of all, the boy was smiling when the expected to came up. And second of all, I I don't even have anything for that. Um, uh, okay. Joys of blind runs, guys. Well, too bad you didn't have more time to do things with that kid. Like, I don't know, turn green and wreck the lab? Mm -hmm. 
You drink enough of this stuff, you'll really bug out. I knew there was something drug related in this game. So you drink that, you have a hallucination about Satan scratching his ass and asking you how the drink tastes. Something's not kosher about any of this going on here. Too bad. You could do some pretty cool things with that potion. What did I say about turning green? <laughs> Uh, don't be such a prick, kid. Instead, head for 7A, which we'll do in just a second. Let's drink the lime juice. Mm -hmm. Wait, that dog is his? Is this supposed to be like some kind of Charlie Brown and Snoopy parody? Now that I really think about it. All these unfortunate things happening to the kid. And a really fat dog that appears to do nothing but sleep. Oh my. What, I don't suppose we can control weather now? I guess we can. We're rich. That's going to be some serious money if we ever get out of this fucking virtual reality. It is kind of neat. I might I might attempt to find this, although I doubt the music will be that easy. I was going to say something about there being love in the air until the kid smiled and further proved that he is probably uh, not the most masculine boy we've ever seen. I, I really question whether this is even a boy at this point. Anyway. That's quite a smile the dog's got on him. Now that we've enjoyed the candy drops. What's next? What can we turn the snow into this time? Well, shit. Sorry I asked. <laughs> yeah, it's fair enough. I mean, he's wearing it right on his, uh, right on his, well, not technically on his sleeves, but so to speak. Oh. 
I knew it was dangerous being out in the cold. Well, that's interesting. Hallelujah. It's snowing men. All right. Modify for 7i. Reliving Nightmare Solar. Hmm. Well, what have we here? A giant battery with a button panel. What a sad waste. And what's the dog... F what's his face for? It's not the kid's fault he woke up. Yeah, if you wanted the robot to squish the dog, you're a little too late on that one. Too bad. What? The hell you say? Yeah, they hide it less and less, and out goes all the battery acid. So, in theory, this thing should no longer work, right? Now we all know that's not how this works. I guess we haven't had enough sky adventures. You'd think he'd be done after the parachute incident or even the rocking horse incident. Kid, you're supposed to be harnessed.
Did he just shit himself? <laughs> After everything he's been through, this is what does it? Oh, Lord. Well, that'll really grind your gears, won't it? <sighs> well, congratulations on surviving, kid. What else can you do to yourself? Nice 3D effect. Take a rose break when you need relief. Or was that a relief break when you need roses? Never mind. Funny. She said that back in the toilet and now says it again after the poor kid has shit himself. <sighs> oh, oh, the sad part is it's not e it's pushing him off the cockpit, not even down into it where he's safe. Tell me honestly, how many of you guys out there would like to fly a plane like this? Until, of course, it does some shit like that. A crushing defeat, if I've ever seen one. Okay, set up for 7G. Yeah, at that particular point, I'm kind of inclined to agree. Well, let's move on up. figure this out quickly before they freeze to death. Just how many fat animals are they going to have trying out that machine? Uh, well, not much in the way of gags on this one. So we are just going to have to head to 7F. All the other buttons are warps. So, what do I hit? Do I just hit the bottle? Uh, 
if I'm reading this correctly, I think this is the way out. Good. That's exactly where I wanted to end up. Let me make sure I have this right. All right, this is going to get a little complex and a little convoluted, so bear with me because I kind of have to think about this. All right. I believe I need to do 7D. Seven C. Seven B. think 8A no wait I'm a little too soon for that I think Oh, I know what I got to do. I need to go to 7A again. Okay, this time, 8A. Pretty sure this is how I have to do it. Nice face. Well, at least this is about the most normal scenario where you might have that effect happen. you've got orange cream coming out your nose, I think you need to see a doctor. Like, reasonably soon. Still playing that old game? This one's... I mean, I guess as much fun as you can have drowning in, uh, Nose drippings. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this guy's a regular soda machine, isn't he? We've seen grape soda, we've seen orange soda. Not so appetizing now, is it? Okay, 8B. Yeah, I might need to sit down and think too after that. <laughs> so, that's what he's been doing this whole time. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. Hello? Oh, my darling. I've been waiting for you. See? You soon? Why must you talk? Like that, it's really annoying. There, now it's art. Well, if that's what's going on in your head, I uh, commend you for your ability to keep it in. <laughs> He's missing certain anatomical features, by the way. I don't think you have it on right. All right. 9C. Yeah, this is where things get a bit convoluted. Boy, this monolith gets around, doesn't it? Again, it looks like it's all warp. Plus one booby trap, which I am not going to hit. By the way, it's not a game over until you hit all 40 traps. Or all 30 traps. Hey, a warp scooter. Cool. Awfully long way forward in time. By the way, the dog should not be surviving as long as the human should. Quack, quack.
You're not a Borg. You would not have been shattered by electricity. <laughs> I don't know who you're trying to fool, guy. something here okay <laughs> so we found ways to go forward in time Back in time, destroy the time machine, bring Frankenstein back to life. Uh, not much more to be done here, so let's see. 9K. We still have to explore much of, much of 8. Seems we've been deserted. Uh, we want 8J. So that's the center button. We have ourselves a giant chessboard. <clears throat> Congratulations on staying alive. Like I said, giant chessboard. What the blue hell is this? Drugs are good around here, guys. I was wondering if anything would rise to beat the heads. Not so handy now, are we? Wait a minute. My guide appears to be incorrect. Hang on, let's experiment with something. Hang on, something ain't kosher here. Huh. 
Yeah, that's not what it should be. this button was correct. Yep. We've been here before, but not with the dog. I'll tell you now that these are going to be the same same gags as before. So if you enjoy watching puppies suffer, you'll get a good laugh out of this anyway. Alright, and now that we've gotten our Encore performance out of the way, let's move to uh, Yeah, let's move to 9 Let's move to 9i We've seen this before too. Again, everything you're about to see is going to be the same as before when the boy was here. Which would make now pretty much a perfect time to break out more food. A retired cannibal? <laughs> I, I, why ever retire? I... Oh, whatever. Welcome to the game nobody can ever win. The same could be said for this as a whole, I think. Like, honestly, who even wins here? Just 
La da 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 Well, nice to know the gods hate the dog as much as they hate the boy. Only one way to go. 8H. Excuse me. I mean, we've been here. We know calling for help never works around here. Okay, back to 8i. No, I just realized something. I don't think my map includes a way to 8G. Well, that's not good. Okay, I see how I can do it. All right, let me make a quick little adjustment here. Okay, where am I again? Okay, I am here. 9J. Ten I. Ten I. Hold on, what did I do? No, ten J. Holy shit, I'm lost. What did I just do? All right, I'm here.
Okay, 9J. <sighs> I think this reading the map thing is starting to get to me. All right. I think we know most of what's going to go on here. I could be wrong. Oh, that's right. Eat the whole flask. That won't give you complete indigestion. What are you mad at us for? We just gave you some serious transformation power. Apparently these potions react differently to dogs than they do humans, so... Let's see what else happens here. The main event. Aha! That was coming eventually, I just wasn't sure when. <coughs> Talk about a titillating experience. That's all you need. An excuse for people to ride you all day. <laughs> That's the most surfer dude -ish lion roar I've ever heard in my life. Up, asshole. What? Hey, that's not for you. Um, what's not for me? I don't fucking want it, man. Stay puffed, puppers. Stay puffed. <clears throat> All right, I'm actually going to deviate from my beaten path here. Because I'm pretty sure I have a better way to do what I need to do here. So I'm actually going to go back to 9i. Actually, no, I think I'm utterly mistaken. I'm going to stay on the beaten path and go for 10i. The fact that there's no 9b and the 10e is a death room. Hmm. 
has really screwed up my straight paths here. Fortunately, this elevator can take me to a number of places. I think the AC in this box is a bit much. Like sands in the hourglass. So ends your life. Well, I'm glad we have working HVAC controls in here. That's not exactly what we need. Oh, gross. Well, obviously, the experiments have traveled through the air vents. Um, ten H. Good. I was getting a bit thirsty. <laughs> well, fuck you, dog. Fuck you. Also, that's not quite what I was thirsty for. Why are you laughing at us? We're not causing this. Maybe sex with the Mona Lisa. I hear that's popular among mountain climbers. And those guys are fit. Hey! I wish... I wish you'd stay still long enough for me to make my fucking wish. And this better be pink lemonade, because I'm really getting thirsty. That's it. Drink the hydraulic fluid that keeps it running. Okay, now admittedly that's worth laughing at. Mm. 
So apparently the machine would rather beat itself down than serve us. <sighs> well, let's uh, let's have a drink. Chocolate milk, maybe? Because I kind of want chocolate milk. Uh, an evening at the opera. Ordinarily not exactly my cup of tea, but you know what? I'll take it. This time. Well, somebody's obviously put some serious work into this uh, into this art project. Let's have a show. I'm kind of kind of itching for some art here. Watching you flounder really makes me hungry. <laughs> well, better hungry than horny, I guess. My God, I hope they pay you guys and pay you a lot. That's some good looking stuff. Why are they sh I guess we know what kind of art people like. Okay. Uh, 8G. This was the loophole I had in my uh, map the last time. Okay, HG. Yes, the carousel. So, what can we make the horses do? Nice. I have a few friends with kids that would really, really enjoy this. Why the long faces, guys? Unless the unless the idea of fish naughty nauseates you, or are they live fish? <clears throat> I mean, I guess that's a fairly distinct possibility as well. But if I. I didn't care about my figure. Would you let me off? I almost feel sorry for you. 
truly. No better feeling like being on top of the world. So cool. Ugh. Oh, my sentiments exactly. This one can burn. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's all we need is a shitter go round. <laughs> But it doesn't look to me like they're even attached to any piping. Which basically means they're porta potties and they're just compounding unless they're clean on a daily basis. You know at least one child out in the world is going to be taking crap in that toilet. Maybe even a couple adults. Alright. Um, eight... F. Ooh. That's basically a doctor's office playroom. Is that how puppet shows work? Chicken of the sea? Are you doing what to your shell? You're serious. I didn't know televisions had a valve like that. That's all we need. Epilepsy television. It's gotten a bit warm in there. Now would be a fine time to get out of the kitchen. I don't even think I want to know what this thing is. It kind of looks like asses. I mean a lot of asses. Yeah, 
Yeah, the rest of you might want to just run. Also, do all tourists wear suits? This poor guy. Doesn't look like we're even taking turns either. That's right, kid. <laughs> Take no responsibility. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, is that all you're covering? Did you really? So that's your ass that's all over that formation? There. That's what the kid thinks of your modern art. You, I wish for cheesesteaks and... Well, I could have sworn I got my wish out in time. Oh, whatever. Um, 8D. Oh, we're almost through the eighth floor. We're not that far from the ninth. Well, we have a hose. I guess we may as well help these guys out. Great, kid. I uh, guess that pretty much Finishes the job. Not a lot more to be done there. I think. I am. I am. Aren't I? Uh, too many cook. Spoil broth. I'm not even going to ask what that was. Well, that sucks. When we said open fire, that's not quite what we meant. I wish for a lover. You're still not going to grant one to me, are you? Well, fuck you then. 8C. The last room of floor eight. Oh, hey, nice. 
All right, let's get packing. And the ballerina is the only one to survive. I don't even know if that what that would be a commentary on. Okay, that's a cool graphic effect right there. Why is the ballerina still alive? Is everything in this universe like like trying to say something? Well look who's back. By the way, pretty sure the center console is supposed to be a safe haven. Apparently not. Okay, back to 7B and then it's time to... Time to float again. Here's what I need to do. 7A. This time I can go straight to 8B. Nine K. like to get to. It's just a matter of actually getting there. Is there a way to get to 9G from 10J? I guess I'm going to have to take this path. Okay, 9J. Ten. 
and I. Yeah, I'm basically going to have to loop this a bit. Nine H. And this is where the path changes a little bit. This time I'm going to 9G. Where am I at? 9H? Yeah. Yeah, 9G. I have to at least get to some stable point. Funk the oil. Funk the oil. Real slick, guys. How long did it take you to uh, figure that one out? Well, let's get some gas while we're here. We might need it for the rest of the journey. Or we'll just travel on foot and by teleporter, uh, one way or the other, I suppose. Yeah, I think we put a little too much air in those tires. spit out the ignition <sighs> I knew those gamma rays weren't healthy Don't you? And you didn't even sing this time. You must have really been in a rush. Right. 9F. Only three more rooms on floor 9. I like this music. Hang on a sec. I'm going to get a little snippet recording of it so I can put it on my collection. That's enough. Back to it. Is 
Seems like an awfully redundant operation, but that's kind of a cool concept nonetheless. Just sucking balls now. Technologically, that is an awfully capable hose. Again, just pure needless redundancy. Drink these delicious shakes, he says. Lose 100 pounds in one week. Stay right on, brother. Yeah, that kind of diet doesn't quite work if you're only 110 pounds. Chia hair? That's quite an interesting choice. I don't even know what you'd call those. Okay. Nine. Wait, no, hold up. I didn't do that one before the save, so let's see it one more time. Maybe I'll have a better chance at identifying this. Or maybe I won't. Okay, this is the one I want. 8E. 9E, sorry. Well, not when I see it, at least. What in the world is this? An 11 pip dice block? So, what is this? It's a constellation telescope. Cool. So what all are we going to see here? It's a jungle out there. You know, all night would have been much funnier with the room that we're in here. But that's just my opinion. <sighs> this is the future, kids.
Going swimming without the water. I like that. Ah, my favorite. Only my chosen instrument is not among them. Too bad. <laughs> Organic astronomy. Although the lightning grain effect was pretty cool there. Okay, 9D. Last room of floor nine. Sadly, things are going to continue getting hairy for the next couple floors or so. Oh, we've seen this dude before. That's the creature that we heard make the chopping block joke some time ago, actually. With a little imagination, you can see almost anything in a cloud. Yeah, well, that doesn't leave too much to the imagination, now does it? thinking about something on the map. Mm -hmm. At least it didn't try to grab the kid. I think I've got a slightly better idea than the map I wrote out would have me do. Let's hit the die button. Alright, coffee break guys. While I work the way back here. take another trip to the desert world. Thank you. 
This is where we change paths a little bit. Now to 10J. talking some old-timey music. <laughs> Must be the generalized opinion of music from that time. But now that the machine can finally express how sick it is of having to hear it. Again, I mentioned this problem before. If it's going to do that, it's got to fire out live rounds. That's what they call dropping the beat. Does this dog laugh at everything? Sometimes you just have machines that'll do absolutely everything except what they're supposed to do. Numpad treasure box. That's uh, interesting. So, what do we want to do? Too bad. I was hoping he would have that lightning power again. It's certainly have been fun to watch, at least in my view. like fireflies briefly held me to be let go five four three two one happy new year How'd that get in there? That's a hand job. This is a hand job. That man, I got to stop hanging around on this street corner. Was 
was that a six-handed man talking about hand jobs? <laughs> I, I mean, if that's how you make your living with that many hands. Jeez. By the way, I'm loving the visual effects here. All jokes aside, this is this is a real testament to what they could do with graphics at this time. I think we're going to need to get a replacement and screw it in. indeed okay 11 H I think we'd probably better find the right button before this poor kid drowns uh, 11 G don't worry, I don't think he'll actually drown. Oh no. These things again? Oh, good. At least I don't have to do anything special here. Nice to know that there's a mechanism that will prevent the technology from pulling any strange crap. You know what, I haven't checked this in a while. to make it to all the rooms we've needed to so far and looking at the map I have here it looks like as soon as we touch on floor 12 that's a pretty safe point so that would be a good place to stop but first we need to clear 11 and 12 So that's basically the hand of God coming out of the sky. You're just keeping us in 
<laughs> what is what you just said in reference to, sir? Yeah, you kind of lost me there. touchy but shit like that happens that is a cool artistic effect right there Heal up paint bottles? Is that the kind of patent we've just looked at here? Uh, 10 G. So a dung beetle that can back up on its dung wheel? Or are we just making fun of the Volkswagen here? That seems to be about what we're doing here. That'll make any normal person nauseous in a heartbeat. And so might this. This definitely will accomplish that. Only problem is, thanks to design, you're going to wind up swimming in it. All right. 10 F. Rather complex for a flashlight, don't you think? I mean, that would blow your battery real quick. Satan. Well, I don't know why you're surprised, kid. I mean, at this point, it's pretty commonplace.
know how much easier my life would be if I had a if I had the ability to tap into a headlight like that. Unfortunately, I don't think that's quite how it works. Eleven E. Well, check it out. Back in the factory. Boom, boom. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 Oh, nice, a lever function this time. That sucks. Of course, that's the one time the fish's rear is facing you. Did, did it just choke the chicken before proceeding to throw egg in your face? I believe that's what it did. Entirely convinced your mommy didn't just leave you. Well, look on the bright side, kid. This is preparing you for eventual fatherhood or motherhood if you decide to go that way. Right, 11D. What kind of machine is this? Asta, Asta, Asta! Asta! Oh, so the boy knows how to speak. Alright, what else can he say? Later, 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 later. Heavy. Your hand motions really don't match anything you're saying. But at least you have enough brain cells to function. Killer. <laughs> don't give up your day job, kiddo. Panic! Panic! Chong. All right, that's enough of that. 
Um, Tendi. Um, is this some kind of automated dentistry machine? Good grief. I would I would not blame you if you were frightened for your life, kid. I think that machine's a little too strong. What's that they say? An elephant never forgets? Obviously not the case, but okay. Modern distraction dentistry, boys and girls. Surely you'll get a laugh out of it. This is the game over screen, or one of them, should you wind up there. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Clever disguise for something like that. Well, let's get out of here before we lose more than just our teeth. Okay, where am I now? 11C? Yeah, okay. That was uh, that was a little too close, don't you think? Something gonna tell something tells me you're gonna have close calls all the way out this room. Oh. We've seen we saw him in a cameo before. I wonder if that thing caught the camera how to shoot lips. I think we had any Kleenex anyway.
And that's what a heart attack feels like. Not that I would know, thankfully. Oh yeah, you're definitely in need of oil, aren't you? Tensi. Oh, check it out. More modern art. Relax, you're still alive. There's something fishy about this piece. Can't quite put my finger on it. Aye. Good night. Enjoy your sleep. Been nice having you here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd be in a little more pain than that. The fact that you're made of stone really wouldn't matter there. Is it a hologram? Uh, I don't fucking know. Okay, 11B. Well, it seems we have control of the world. Yeah, good luck fitting seven billion on there now. That was certainly interesting. So all you get is a ball of wood when you peel back the crust. Well, they missed an opportunity there. If that's the bare naked ass I thought it was, they definitely missed something. And we have just made honest men out of the the earth is flat and I'm nuts. And we've done it again. Boing. So, the Earth is actually two smaller globes tied together? I'm learning so many things about astronomy and Earth science. I guess you're going to make me say it, aren't you? Commentary on rape. It's almost two in the morning. I can say that and not get censored. I think our time may be running out, guys.
Yeah, that's quite an intruder alert. Can't see anybody sleeping through that. Well, I can't say I'm surprised that this room has time machine effects. Kind of expected that to happen too. Um, anybody know how to translate Japanese to English? So I'd really like to know what insult that angel just flung at us. We have broken and bent reality. All right, hold on a sec. Can I get to 10B through 10A? Yes. Tropical, really. Who needs us? You're doing just fine all by yourself. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm glad you think so, too. Okay, 10B. Whoops. One more. One more exhibit shot to hell. Yeah, very nice. Pretty impressive, but have you stuck yourself in that pose? That didn't take much, Scaredy Dino.
Okay. Now I need to make my way to 11F. And I know a fairly convenient shortcut to get there. Very convenient indeed. This will get us to 11G. And from here we can get to 11F. guys we have touched on all the rooms all the way down to floor 11 this next one will put us at 12 e and after this room we will finish for the night So we seem to be in a hunter's trophy room. Why is he fascinated by what he sees? Why am I still asking questions? That's kind of chilling, the fact that he's got a guillotine wall. Hmm. Maritime assassination. I see. So the animals are just a front. He's really hunting rock cats. Okay, let me make my marks here. Let's head for 12E and get ourselves a preview of next time. We just appear to be in a plain grass field. All right. Let me dispense with all of this that I no longer need. Okay. 
I'm honestly kind of wondering if gags are all the buttons or if they're actually the gag buttons and not just the gags, the transports, and the traps. Not that it matters. I'm showing you every button that exists anywhere or every gag that exists. And that is it for the night. Tune in tomorrow night for our special 100th episode where we'll be doing game shows to celebrate. Until then, have an alpha night.